Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Uh, this is a follow-up uh, to the last video I did about the resurrection. Um, is knowledge of the resurrection uh, prerequisite uh, to get saved? Well, I've been uh, considering other people's comments and uh, videos uh, that they made uh, responding to my video. And I, I'm going to make this very short and sweet. Um, I'm not really surprised uh, to see that there are Christians who are misrepresenting and actually lying about uh, what I've actually said in the video and uh, what I actually believe. Um, I made a lot of videos about uh, e even though we're Christians, uh, we all do continue to sin. It is, a, um, it is a struggle between the old man and the new man. And uh, now I'm observing some of the brethren uh, sinning, uh, lying about what I actually said in the video and what I believe. I'm going to invite you uh, to go through all the videos I've made uh, over the last four years, and uh, you will see in my statement of faith and in my videos, uh, not only that I've uh, made here in my office, but the videos of me preaching in the streets of Las Vegas. I preached to well over one or two million people over the years, and you will see that I have preached the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ thousands, if not millions of times. And I proclaimed my faith in this doctrine. And that is also true for uh, Jack Smack and some of the other brethren that are coming, uh, being challenged on this too. So um, if you want to disagree with my position on this as far as um, can someone be saved if they were uh, had no knowledge of the resurrection, go ahead and disagree with that. But at least be honest and uh, do not misquote or misrepresent our views. Um, so I, um, I, I proclaim that uh, you know I believe in the resurrection, the bodily resurrection of Jesus. I've preached it uh, many times over the years. And uh, I... I want to ask a question though. So please just, just uh, answer this one question for me now. Let's take an individual who is distressed in their life and they're driving down the freeway. Let's say they're very depressed. Maybe they're even on the verge of suicide. They don't know a whole lot about Jesus, but they, they've heard about him and they, it, all of the details are not really clear to them. But they drive by the rescue mission and they see a big cross and a sign that says, Jesus saves. And this, in this time of desperation and need, they pray to Jesus and say, Jesus, if you save, I want you to save me now. Will you save me, Jesus? Is that person going to get saved? Is God going to show mercy on them? Or is he going to say, no, I can't save you because you do not understand all the details that uh, these people on YouTube are saying that uh, you must understand. Even though you're crying out to me for mercy and salvation and you're putting your faith in me to save you, I'm not going to save you because you didn't have the knowledge of all the details. So answer me that question, if you will. And uh, uh, if, if I find that anybody is misrepresenting my belief on the resurrection or what I've stated in this video, uh, then I will have to um, uh, shun you. I cannot uh, tolerate that. But... Um, I know that uh, many of you people, even though you're criticizing me, uh, you are saved. And uh, regardless of all this controversy, I will see you in heaven. Praise our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ.